My name is Katrina Lanto-Sweat, and I have the great pleasure of welcoming you all here today for the 2019 Anne Frank Award Ceremony. I am so honored to again be here for what has always been an extraordinary event. I've actually had the privilege of being part of this special occasion for many years, and so by now, this gathering has for me the feeling of a bit of a family reunion. Um, there are wonderful old friends and familiar faces that I get to see again, um, and of course, many new friends to meet, and I just feel incredibly lucky to be included as part of this family reunion. And I also get to kind of be an honorary Dutch for a day. So this is, um, this is a day in my personal calendar that I look forward to with great anticipation. Now last year, my husband, Ambassador Richard Sweat, was here with me for this uh, fantastic gathering. And I was quite disappointed when I found out that he wouldn't be able to join me this year because his schedule just didn't permit it. But you know, things have a way of where, kind of working out the way they're supposed to, and I think that that might have been the case this year, because it could have been a bit awkward if my husband were here. You're probably wondering why. This is getting very intriguing, right? Well, the fact is that I fell in love last night with a man who is not my husband. Um, he's quite a bit older than I am. He's a hundred. He's a little bit shorter than I am, but that, you know, has never stood in the way of true love. Um, we have, though, a lot in common. We're both Hungarian, and while my efforts and my very modest contributions to trying to advance the rule of law and advance accountability are utterly insignificant as compared to the extraordinary life of a man you will be meeting soon and hearing more about soon. Um, I just uh, truly did fall in love with Ben Ferenc, who is going to be this year's um, incredible recipient. I also fell in love in a considerably more platonic way with our other um, honoree today, um, another extraordinary man, Mohammed Al Abdallah. And I said to the ambassador, and I meant it quite sincerely, that this year's um, gathering in this year's group of honorees is so extraordinary that he is setting the bar very, very high, and it's going to be tough to, to match your achievements of this year, Mr. Ambassador. Now, my first duty today is to introduce um, Representative Bill Hazinga, who has also been part of this event for a number of years. So, you know, we're sort of in the family together, Congressman, so I guess that makes us cousins of some sort, which is a good thing, because I'm a Democrat, and Congressman Hazinga is a Republican, and I think we need more of that family feeling amongst us here in Washington so that we can move forward on the, on the incredible range of issues where what unites us is so much more important than what divides us. Um, of course, Representative Heisinga is a proud American of Dutch heritage who lives where else but in Holland, Michigan. Um, I should also mention, and now I'm going to stray a little bit from the whole family theme into, although, you know, there is such a thing as sibling rivalry, he is also the proud father of five children, which is quite impressive, but I just need to say, Representative, I'm the proud mother of seven, so, so perhaps your work is not yet done. <laughs> Luckily, your wife isn't here to hear that threat, you know. <laughs> but anyway, we'd like to ask you to please come to the podium, and we're so delighted to have all of you here with us today. <laughs> 